Hi everyone, so today I have a unboxing video for some tools, which is different I guess. Uh, so these tools are basically uh, from iFixit, they're used to take apart other gadgets. So I have the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit. Now the reason why I, I bought this was um, recently I, I took apart my Joy-Cons and I borrowed an, an iFixit kit from a buddy and it was so good I decided I needed to get a set for myself. So I went and got the Protect Tool Kit. Uh, so basically it comes with a bunch of screwdrivers and also some extra stuff. Um, some pliers, actually quite a lot of pliers. I don't actually know what they all are and what they all do. Um, there's a suction cup to remove uh, screens. Not sure if I'll ever use this set, but I got it uh, just because. So this is the, the box it comes in. It's, the packaging is really nice. I mean, for a set of tools, really nice. Um, it's got the iFixit branding and stuff. So behind it tells you um, exactly what's included. So 64-bit driver kit, so all the, the screw heads that you'll probably ever need, hopefully. Uh, and then the other stuff it includes, so the static wrist strap, suction handle, all these opening tools, there's picks and stuff. And then they have all these names for all the tweezers. Really have no idea which one is which, to be honest. Not sure what a Jimmy is. Uh, an, a magnetic pad. A compact tool roll. So, not sure what that is. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I've already cut the tape so that we can slide this out easily. So, off comes the original cover. Let's put that aside. And then you have this box. It actually looks really nice. I mean, it feels like you're unboxing like a gadget, but it's just a set of tools. So, that's the, the nothing on the back black box, uh, so you lift up from the bottom, I think, yep, okay, lift up from the bottom, and then you raise it up, and then you have your kit itself. So it's rolled up in this, this Velcro thingy, so I'll get rid of the box. So this rolled up Velcro might actually be called, might actually be what the compact tool roll is. So that might just be the cover. Okay, so I fix it logo, Velcro, gonna lay it out here. Okay, so it's like this. Try and get it in the center. So these are all the, um, I guess, spudges or whatever you call it. Um, there's yeah, opening tools and opening picks. I'm guessing these are probably it. Uh, this is the static wristband, I think. Does this work? Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing you put this on your wrist and then you attach this to the ground so that you don't fry your electronics using, well, from, from the static from your body. Put this aside. This is the suction cap thingy. So I'm guessing um, what you do is you stick this onto um, a screen and maybe use a heat gun or something and you you know melt the plastic or not melt the plastic. You uh, soften the plastic and then you can use this suction cup to pull the screen up if you're ever doing a screen repair. Uh, and then yeah these are probably the opening tools. And they have these picks. They're actually they look like guitar picks, maybe. It's like hard plastic. So I'm guessing you probably use this if you need to wedge something and open up something. So they actually have the iFixit branding on it, which is pretty nice. Okay, I'll just put this aside. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of tweezers. So I think this is plastic tipped, I think. Yeah, so this one is plastic tipped. So it'll, you know, help, hopefully it won't damage your electronics if you're ever using this to pick up something or anything that's maybe a bit more delicate. And let's see what else we got it's here. Oh, and also they're, they're all branded. They have the iFixit logo. And these are oh, some tweezers. Um, doesn't tell you which tweezer it is, but yeah, it just looks like standard pair of tweezers. They're quite sharp, which might be why um, they give you this. So again, I fix it branding. Feels very nice, very high quality. Uh, next one. Let's see what this is. Okay, another set of tweezers. This time they got um, ridges on the inside or, or teeth or whatever you call them. So again, for picking up stuff. Not as sharp this one, so if you pick up something larger, I guess. That one. And what is this? I'm guessing these are like opening tools. Oh, so it's a spudger. Um, Repair is noble. 
interesting. Okay, so I guess it's just like a multi-purpose tool. Um, if you, maybe this will come in handy, this little notch. Otherwise they have this flat bit, I'm guessing for wedging into things, and there's a pointy bit, kind of like a sharp pencil on this end. Okay, and then another, another spudger. So a, a hook of some kind, and then another, kind of like a knife, but it's, it's quite thin. And it's kind of it's kind of flexible this bit here, so again for opening things I'm, I'm assuming. And then what do we have here? This might be a metal spudger. So similar thing, flat on both ends. This one's rounded. This is a bit sharper. Pretty nice. Um, I wish this was black as well. I mean this is it kind of stands out. I mean I guess it matches this one, but this is like a sandblasted sort of metal finish. Whereas this one is like smooth and metallic. So yeah, maybe if they just kept the same color scheme, that'd be nice. But then again, this is just a bunch of tools, so who cares? And then finally, we have this thing, which looks like a knife, but it's not very sharp. So again, another, another spudger, I'm guessing. I'm just gonna refer back to the box. Um, not sure what this is. So we had I mean, a whole bunch of spudgers, metal spudger, standard spudger, halberd spudger. Uh, maybe this is a jimmy, I, I am not sure. But anyway, not important. Uh, and then that's basically those separate tools and then you have the actual driver set itself. So what's interesting is when I picked it up, this is actually magnetically attached. All right, so I think this is the magnetic pad they were referring to. So basically it's just a big fridge magnet from what I can tell. So it's probably good for like things like screws. So if you unscrewed something and then you need to put it somewhere and don't lose it. So you can just drop it here and then it'll keep it fastened to this magnetic pad so that you don't lose it. Uh, so I can see here that there are some magnets on the bottom. So that must be how it attaches, which is nice. And opening the lid. Okay, so the lid itself is magnetized which is cool, again. So put that aside, and then we have the 64-bit uh, driver kit. Uh, it's basically held in by foam, and then you have the driver itself. I'm assuming this is the driver. And it's got a, a, a spinning end, and it's actually really smooth. You probably can't see on camera, but yeah, it, it spins really smoothly actually. And again, the iFixit branding, and this is where you put the bits in. So I'm just gonna grab one of the random ones. This triangle thingy. And it's magnetic, which is sick. Oh, so smooth. So yeah, once you have that in, you can you know put that in and then you can put your palm there and screw away, which is pretty awesome. So that's, that's basically it. Uh, oh, there's this flexible piece. So I'm assuming this goes in here. Magnetic again, which is awesome. And then you probably attach a piece on the end, I'm guessing. So this is not magnetic, which sucks. I mean, everything else is magnetic. Why can't you make this magnetic? Anyway, so this is flexible. So if you ever need to get into some weird a weird spot that you can't fit the handle in. This is useful, so you just flex it in and then you, you turn it as you require. And yes, so as you turn it, the end, if I can get it to focus, the end also, um, also turns. It's not focusing very well, but yeah. Yeah, it also turns. And it's nice that this piece spins independently of the tip. So you could be holding onto here spinning this handle uh, and this this bit spins this bit doesn't and then this bit spins so if that makes any sense at all uh, you can hold on to this and spin like so like that which is which is going to be pretty helpful if you're in a tight spot so that's that i'm not going to go through each piece here because honestly i have no idea what all the pieces are um, and what the names are for all the pieces anyway so I'll just do a close up, a quick close up for you guys. So these are all the little bits that we have. Looks 
So all 64 of them. Uh, the one I'll probably be using the most is probably the tri-wing one, uh, which I can see is down here. So these two. So the Y, the Y, Y triple zero, and the Y double zero, and the Y zero, uh, and then the Y one. So yeah, so these would be useful for like opening a Joy-Con, for example. Uh, so anyway, that's a quick look at the iFixit uh, Pro, Pro Tech Toolkit. Um, and thanks for watching.